If you've got a car that has smoke coming out from under the hood, then stay tuned. Because today I'm going to show you how to fix a car that's smoking under the hood. Now in this case it's really easy to figure out where the smoke's coming from, but not so easy to fix it. Because when we look at the side of the engine, we can see the valve cover gasket's leaking, so it needs new valve cover gaskets. The oil leaks and drips on the exhaust manifold, then it smokes as it starts to smolder. The engine isn't too bad, there's a lot of electrical stuff that comes off, but the cover comes off pretty easily. But the driver's side's another story. In order to get to the valve cover gasket, we gotta take the whole intake manifold off, so here we go. We'll start by taking all the clamps and hoses and electrical connections off the intake. Get them out of the way. Then start taking all the nuts and bolts off and put them in a bucket so you don't lose them. Then take all the bolts off and hold the intake manifold on. Then lift the intake up. You can move it out of the way, and I use a giant screwdriver to hold it up in the air so it doesn't fall down. See, there's plenty of room to get to the screws to get the valve cover gasket off. Now, this Nissan uses dinosaur technology. They actually use screws to hold it in, so you unscrew them. Some of the screws are even impossible to touch with your hand. I use a magnet on a stick and pull them up with that once I unscrew them. You just put the stick in, and out it comes. Then you just wiggle them, pull it out, and off it comes. Then you just pry the old gasket off with a screwdriver, and pull it off. You can see how messed up the old one is. It's just brittle and comes apart when you pull on it. Then get some brake cleaner and spray the ridge to get the oil out of it. Then get a little 3M adhesive glue and stick some glue on it and stick the gasket on top of that. Just stick it the whole way around so that it stays in place when you turn it upside down. Then stick the gasket in the hole. Then let it dry for about half an hour because when you turn it upside down to put it on, you don't want the gasket falling off. Then when it's dry, just slide it back on top and line up the bolt holes and then screw them all back in. And since these are just screws, there's no torque or anything. You just tighten them as tight as you can get them by hand so they don't leak. Now before you put it all back together, spray all the oily parts with engine degreaser so it won't smoke when you're done. You can see all that oil and gunk, so spray it with engine degreaser. Then let it soak for about 10 minutes and hose it off with water to get all the oil off the exhaust so it doesn't burn anymore. Just be careful not to get it on electronic parts. go back to putting the intake back on. And be sure to get them on nice and tight. And be sure to clip all the connections back on. And put all the hoses back on too. And of course then you do the other side, but since this side isn't covered by the intake manifold, it's a much easier job. We just have to unplug all these wires and move them out of the way. Then it just screws on and off. Once you get all the wires out of the way, you just unscrew it like the other side. This side is really easy. So the next time your car starts smoking from under the hood, why not fix it yourself? And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel.